Hi everyone and welcome to the Quora question of the day. Today somebody asks, how can an individual earn a living through chess? And then he goes on and he elaborates, mostly I'm thinking about masters, class A and lower. I understand that individuals and chess uh, enthusiasts can write about the subject, but can an individual rating under 2200 earn enough money by simply playing and providing chess lessons be enough to supplement a year's worth 20 to 25k of wages? Um, that's a good question. He goes on and on and he has, you know, he, he says, it seems at least currently to me that a player cannot support a chess habit by simply playing chess without outside help, other sources of income, be them what they may. I ask this way because how chess grandmasters make a living has already been answered. I wonder about the possibilities are for lesser known players. Well, if you're only talking about lesser known players for players 2200 and, and under, or let's say 2400 and under, um, you have to ask yourself this level of skill in chess, which you could empathize with and you could you could relate to. What do you think about that level of skill with other activities? Do you think that that level of skill would be something that you'd be seeking out uh, to for, let's say, a music teacher or an, an artist or uh, a poker player? It's uh, you really have to you have to see how that how that compares, because uh, when it comes to chess, I think that it's very easy to give lessons and, uh, I don't think it would be a challenge to generate, um, 20 to 25,000 a year. I mean, let's see, let's take out the calculator and let's bring the calculator over and let's say you earn a hundred dollars a day times five equals $500 times four equals 2000 so 24000 right times 12 how, how difficult could that be uh i really don't think that's difficult that means that you'd have to have a chess club on uh monday through friday at a school and uh and be a coach uh yeah i mean i think that's incredibly doable and there's tons of people that do it but uh and there are even states that have programs where, you know, you get paid incredibly well. We're talking about over $75 the hour. Obviously, ch the chess player doesn't work more than two hours the majority of the time. But when you're only working one hour, your lifestyle changes completely, especially when you're earning close to $100 for an hour of work. Like, you could basically have another job or you could give private lessons right after that. It's a... Uh, it's pretty rewarding. The biggest challenge is that there's a sacrifice that needs to be uh, implemented when you're becoming a professional or, you know, just making a living from chess, even as an amateur. And that's that you have to be able to withstand the time period that it's going to take you to establish this lifestyle. And it's going to be a period of time because, you know, let's say if you're going to work with schools, you need to become licensed by the state, not licensed, but like you need to be you need to be admitted into the school. And a lot of times that's a challenge. You need to get a background check. You need to get a drug test. Uh, you need to get a badge and then you need to get a vendor number by the county to be able to get paid by the schools. So there are a couple of challenges I've been through. I've, I've been able to pass some of the challenges, just not all of them. Uh, you know, sometimes you need insurance. I was able to, you know, swindle my way out of an insurance, uh, um, policy that was needed to be able to work for the county and uh and okay uh yes I, if that answers your question i would say that definitely it's the easiest way to make a living um let's see what else could we say uh what else are you asking tournaments so the money's guaranteed absolutely tournaments no luck whatsoever for the amateur because there's basically no way of generating money. I mean, what are you going to generate if you're going to play a quad? If you're going to play so difficult, it's not even funny. Tournaments are not the way for the amateur. Um, let's see what else. It seems at least that currently to me that a player cannot support chessing uh, by playing chess without outside help. Okay, yeah, I I disagree. I think that the player can, but not everybody has the ability of doing it because you have to be an entrepreneur. You have to market your product and services. And there's also a time period, once again, that you have to be able to withstand to be able to, to reach that lifestyle. And that period, you know, it may be a year, maybe two years, it may be three years, or it may be three months. We don't know how long it's going to take you to actually, you know, come together with all these resources and put together a chess team at five schools so that you could eventually uh, generate the income. Um, having said that, 
uh, nowadays there's so many tools and so many resources available thanks to technology that teaching chess is uh, you know is something completely different you could reach to a greater group of people um, I think the amateur has a lot of chances but you know you have to wear a lot of different hats it's I would say that it's just like starting any business you know most business have 90 to 99 percent failure you know one out of ten make it and uh, and then out of those that make it like one out of ten of those excuse me not one out of ten of those but like very few after those actually make it after four or five years and so it's a challenge but I think it's very attainable and uh, it's a very rewarding uh, lifestyle and job not only do you work First of all, you work a school schedule, which is kind of like a huge vacation for anybody. Teachers get a ton of time off. And then in addition to that, you only work an hour out of the day. And it's not like you're grading homework or anything. And you're working with, with you know, younger people or with if you're working with older students or with adults, um, you know, you're working with people that have a professional attitude towards other people and they they would respect what you're doing and as a result your time is not going to be wasted. I think that uh that it's very possible to make a living through chess especially through teaching for anybody that's within the rating range of 1600 to 2200 and up. All right, I hope that answers your question.